pour it into the glass, swirl it around, as I said to you before, throw it out. Because you want to get rid of any odours that are perhaps on the lip of the glass. Swirl it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it, how are you? And then go back to it, quite well, thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this, none of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water. But don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Because you want to test it. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake. And therefore, this is what ruins whiskey. Six times I've now ruined my whiskey. Six times. Twice in America, once in France, once in Stockholm, and twice in England. So, you take the still water, you put it into the whiskey, reduce it down to 35% alcohol. 35% alcohol is the ideal strength for really bringing out the whiskey in the palate. Put in the mouth. And then let it go down. Absolutely fantastic. If in fact I hadn't added sufficient water, what would happen? This is what would happen. Your face would start grimacing. It would start changing because it was affecting the taste buds and anesthetizing them. So all you need is a little water. When I have a presentation, finish at night, want to relax, go into the bar, there's nothing more wonderful than the sound of whiskey being poured by the barman into a glass. And just when I'm about to take the glass from him to enjoy my whiskey, suddenly I hear this other noise. This other noise of not just one or two bits of ice, but many bits. This is now scotch on the rocks. This is taking my whiskey, ruining it with all this ice. In the olden days when there was no ice, the Scots had to improvise. So what did they do? They went to the riverbeds. They took the cold rocks that had been chilled by the mountain snows. They put that into the whiskey and that chilled it. And that's why we call it Scotch on the Rocks. All I'm saying to you is this. If you're ever in a bar and you want to try and enjoy your whiskey this way, don't take it. Take hold of the barman and show him what it's all about. Yeah, chuck it away. You don't need it.